If it's possible to be famous and yet not really well known, that describes the father who raised me. In the same office in Trump Tower, where we now work together, I remember playing on the floor by my father's desk, constructing miniature buildings with Legos and erector sets, while he did the same with concrete, steel, and glass. My father taught my siblings and me the importance of positive values and a strong ethical compass. He showed us how to be resilient, how to deal with challenges, and how to strive for excellence in all that we do. He taught us that there is nothing we cannot accomplish if we marry vision and passion with an enduring work ethic. One of my father's greatest talents is his ability to see potential in people before they see it in themselves. It was like that for us too growing up. He taught us that potential vanishes into nothing without effort, and that like him, we each had a responsibility to work not just for ourselves, but for the betterment of the world around us. One of the reasons he has thrived as an entrepreneur is because he listens to everyone. Billionaire executives don't usually ask the people doing the work for their opinion of the work. My father is an exception. On every one of his projects, you'll see him talking to the super, the painter, the engineers, the electricians. He'll ask them for their feedback, if they think something should be done differently or could be done better. When Donald Trump is in charge, all that counts is ability, effort, and excellence. This has long been the philosophy at the Trump Organization. At my father's company, there are more female than male executives. Women are paid equally for the work that we do, and when a woman becomes a mother, she is supported, not shut out. Women represent 46% of the total U.S. labor force, and 40% of American households have female primary breadwinners. In 2014, women made 83 cents for every dollar earned by a man. Single women without children earn 94 cents for each dollar earned by a man, whereas married mothers made only 77 cents. As, reachers, as researchers have noted, Gender is no longer the factor creating the greatest wage discrepancy in this country. Motherhood is. He will fight for equal pay, for equal work, and I will fight for this too, right alongside of him.